Hundreds of skydivers from around the world came to celebrate by doing what they love the most, jumping from 1,400 feet out of a plane and doing it with style. Andrew Hernandez met up with skydiving royalty and met the granddaughter of the first woman to ever take that leap on Friday. The conditions were perfect as color painted the sky at Skydive Arizona in Eloy. The celebration was underway for the annual Skydiving Hall of Fame. And this is our annual event where we induct our Hall of Fame class, but we also recognize a couple of other folks that have made contributions historically to the sport over time. <laughs> we have a good camera. Yeah. Yes! We're open and we're flying in the sky. <laughs> Soaring on her 600th jump with much enthusiasm is 83-year-old Hall of Famer Kim Knorr, who hopes to reach 1,000 jumps someday. Today, I've made it up to 600. This will be number 600. So only 400 to go. Inspired by her uncle who skydived for the U.S. Army, Kim taking flight back in 1959, which could have been her first and last. I think when I landed, I cleared the power lines, but my parachute took down a whole bunch of power lines. So I won't forget that first job. But that experience did not stop her from taking the skies. Later joining the first U.S. women's skydiving team and even going on to a world championship. It feels great. I just could stay up here for an hour or two if it's okay. <laughs> Across the field, taking her third jump was Misha Tiny Shuck, the great-granddaughter of the legendary Tiny Broadwick. I was never able to see her jump. She passed away when I was 15 years old, but I remember the stories in the family, and we were so excited that she loved what she did, the first woman to parachute from an airplane. Tiny Broadwick took to the skies in 1913, and she was also the creator of the ripcord, which every parachute is required to have. Misha jumps in her honor. And it makes me feel so proud of her, and I just want her name to be remembered and, and, and honor her in my, you know, small way.